Hi, this is Pat Gunn, and this is the 12th um, episode of my Let's Play for Fallout 4. So I'm still trying to get the audio, uh, or the microphone settings right, so apologies if the volume is not particularly great for the video. It's a bit of a trial and error thing. Um, I have not made significant changes since my last, uh, last episode. The one thing that I, I've done is added a just a, a chair area where I think people might uh, sit and chat and talk and do business. I am getting kind of near my uh, my object limit here, which is bothersome because if I'm going to leave that radio transmitter turned on, I'm going to need to keep on making beds and food and stuff like that. We'll see how it goes. We might have to turn it off. But, uh, so... In my last episode, I failed to make it to Vault 88. I got kind of close, and then uh, I ended up getting killed in a pretty ridiculous way. I think for now we're going to go head over and do this the Silver Shroud. But, um, or, oh no, actually McCready doesn't like that quest. So instead, we are going to see if we can go get some more of the settlements that we know about and do some of the near settlement uh, stuff. In general, this is going to be one of the less directed of my uh, videos. <coughs> Since we're still building fellowship with McCready and he's kind of a particular guy in terms of what he's happy uh, to work with you on. We're still doing okay with ammo. In a lot of my other games, I ended up running out of ammo not too long into it, and that was uh, pretty problematic. But here, because we have a nice range of four weapons, we're still doing okay. We are going to always be keeping an eye out on that. Oop. Bug Hunter. Just starting to have fun. Whoa, somebody else. Oh, that might have been McCready accidentally hitting me. That's fun. Come so here on, we have a Brahmin, which is a Fallout version of a cow, mutated to have two uh, two heads. And, uh. Oh, right, we haven't done uh, we had this a yet. Deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. You know what that junk has done to my boy? If I remember right, this all involves a charisma check, so let's put on he a nice dress. He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung Bit out. Bit of a weird look. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, scammer. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face. Or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? <coughs> just don't do anything crazy. Ugh, I'm calling it right here. This world can officially bite my ass. Hey, we all got problems, all right? I'm just trying to collect on what's owed to me. Don't suppose you feel like helping us out? Uh-huh. I'll talk to her. I appreciate it. If things go sideways. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got some affinity from McCready, but he also didn't like our being keen to talk to her. Hey, I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well? Look, you owe them. All right, I'll pay. Right? You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. Crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Okay, so it looks like McCready didn't really like it too much. Hi. We get that, paid uh, and I don't even gotta shoot no That I worked this out peacefully. Good job. Here. I've got a few minutes to browse. You got needs. I got product. Yeah, I don't think we're going to buy anything just now, but uh, it's a, uh, this is actually my preferred resolution to all of this, because otherwise um, you lose 
merchants because both of them are merchants and but and generally in the game mer um, you never really know for sure when uh, you might need the services of one of them plus they tend to be tough so we can avoid some violence with some people who might be useful to keep around and I like doing that I, mean, I suppose it kind of fits what I've done so far in the game. Oh, hello. Synth. This is... I really did not expect to be coming across synths. But it worked out okay. Uh, I did lose a significant amount of health, but I'm not really out in the middle of nowhere. And we can see, oh, they were here killing some scavengers because they were probably doing their own scavenging. Well, that is fine. I'm gonna, this is kind of disgusting taking a nap right next to a dead body, but. On the other hand, uh, given that I'm not irradiated, it was a pretty decent way to get my health back up. Well, this floor doesn't ha This house doesn't have an upper floor. Interesting. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a map marker. And oftentimes when I decide to go do something, half of it is just so that later on I have the option of fast traveling there in the future. <coughs> I do see south of here, it looks like there's a trailer park icon. So, uh, let's keep moving and see what we can find. Oh, it looks like this will let us up onto the highway. Let's pop up and take a quick look. Okay, you can see that time has not been kind to this place, even remotely. Unfortunately, lootable ghouls. Don't mind if I do. With some actually some pretty decent stuff on it. And one of the nice things about this weapon, although I don't want to use it so much that I'm, I run out of ammo, is that is that with the built-in sights, you actually are going to have a pretty easy time... Pretty easy time hitting stuff. And that's often what I have a tough time doing, just keeping the sights in the useful direction. Oh, quantum. Nice. So, let's keep on moving. Not really going anywhere in particular, just going where the road takes me, but... Looks like this is a home of somebody. Or at least it, it was a home. It might not still be a home. Oh, I think I, I recognize this. Yeah, later on in the game uh, there's something to do uh, here, but for now, we're good. Yeah, these overpasses, they're another landscape feature where I would be very, very wary of actually being on them probably at least two centuries since the last structural engineer took a look at them. And I think the fact that so much has fallen down in the centuries since... I mean, I guess you could theorize that the things having fallen down are purely a result of uh, of the nuclear blast, and that they've been sticking together perfectly well ever since. I'm kind of wary of that conclusion, but... Oh, gunners. Okay, well, McCready has a particular dislike of gunners. I don't have strong feelings on them, 
spot. Missed. Great. There we go. Ooh. I shot him clean off the uh, the bridge. I suppose being shot by uh, by a sniper rifle would be the kind of thing that would throw you off. And if you're if you're being shaken up, you probably don't want it to happen when you're up on top of uh, a gigantic bridge. Definitely would like to take that thing out before we get any closer. Ooh, uh, looks like there's a fight going on down there. Gunners. Like those might be civilians down there. Maybe. Okay, we're still doing okay, but we have to be careful. We're fighting off a lot of trouble here. And we've semi recently had some bad experiences with biting off trouble. I don't think the gunners over here have spotted us yet. Okay. Nice clean kill. Somewhere out there we can hear turret. Ah, there's another gunner. Now, this is something which I'm not sure how accurate the game is, uh, if the bullets actually would split people's heads like this. Okay, there's another gunner. Something's running at them. Oh, the, na the native one in life. I'm feeling eyes on my back. Okay, and one more shot, I think. Got him. So it may be time to head down and see what we can recover. There is some wildlife over there. It's, I think it's trying to warn us off from getting too close. Uh, yep, because there's the little ones. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of these things. I, I generally prefer not to go after the wildlife in Fallout if I can avoid it. This is a mix of selfish and unselfish reasons. Uh. I mean, one purely selfish reason is that the loot is terrible. All you get is some wild animal meat. Also, just in general, I don't usually want to mess with nature. And even though my character is almost certainly not vegetarian, as I am in real life, I would still generally see little need to provoke these kinds of fights. So, anyhow. Where are we 
we going here? I think before we were going towards the... Oh, wait. What is that over there? Is that a person? Oh, that's McCready. Yeah, he's not following me very closely, but that is okay. So we were going to see if we can mark this trailer park icon thing on our map. Still getting a little bit close to the animals in a way that they're finding threatening. Not sure. I'm guessing if McCready tries to follow me particularly faithfully, we'll do that even more so. Okay, and over there we can see, I think, a Yagwai. Is it still alive? No, maybe not. Generally, whenever you see one of those things, you want to run because they're, they tend to be hooked up to traps. But maybe not this time. Yep, and that looks like it's a dead Yaogwai. Oh, but those are radioactive barrels. But there's a treasure chest in there. I'm going to risk it. Okay. I'm not going to stick around for too long. We've still got a pretty healthy radiation dose there. And here you can see what looks like probably a settlement. In so let's try and judge this settlement. Looks like they have a great view off down one side. They have a pretty good view d uh, down the other side. Or is that another? That's another Yagwai that is not dead. Oh, we do not have the ability to do much damage to Yagwai. This was a bad idea. The hell are they? Okay. But, we're good now. At least I think we're good. Although it's still coming for me. That's making me a little bit nervous. Hearing more noises. No, maybe we're maybe we're okay. So they have good visibil uh, visibility in at least two directions, maybe three. They have incredible visibility actually in some directions. Um, looks like this. They're able to successfully wall out their territory. <coughs> I think they might have been wiped out, though. They have an outer wall and what looks like an inner wall. If they have a reasonably well-defined perimeter, I would probably want to put some extra walls up in, uh, in that corner, though. This is another highly irradiated place and a steamer trunk that's already been looted. This is... Yeah, so the radiation is probably one of the biggest downsides to this settlement. Like, there's a natural hazard that you don't really have a great way of dealing with. But otherwise... Unless this was a Child of Adam settlement. In which case, that's not a downside, that's an upside. Uh, I believe that uh, one of the oddities of the... Uh, of this world is that... Children of Adam have a kind of partial or complete immunity to radiation. And so they actually, other than that, seem to be doing okay. This this is a I think a pretty pretty good settlement. Oh, I don't think we've been there yet. That is one of the many factories in the game. This is still pretty near the starting area. So it might be there's a town uh, that uh, might be Concord that overlooks 
Yeah, I think it is. It's controlled by raiders. But, yeah, that is an even better settlement area, because although they, they do have the downside of being, uh, being visible, they're not particularly easy to see. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever noticed this building before. But yeah, they have a fantastic view. They're hard to hit from that distance. And, uh, and they have access to lots of resources. So I would call that a good place for a settlement. As for here, we are poking a little bit of trouble. Oh, apparently being legendary does not make a rad roach dangerous enough. Now that's an interesting mod, but unfortunately it's on a poor variant of uh Ooh, there's more rat roaches. It's on one of the, the worst variants of that kind of gun. So... I, I'm probably not going to make that use of it. Okay. Open up the rad roaches. Gigantic roaches, like roaches of that size, would be pretty terrifying to see. So I wonder if this is going to be a decent place to see... No, we're just a little bit too far away. Pretty sure that's Concord. Hmm. Okay, so... Again, we're thinking about trying to clear out this place, or at least loot it a little bit. We can manage to... Fell all the way down, but they were already dead by the time they started to fall. But we've definitely tipped our... Uh, is, it, is it tipped our hand? Tipped our hat? Uh, we've revealed our hand. I think that's the expression. We've revealed our hand, and we need to deal with... People are now looking for us. So it's interesting. There's this body of water around this place. It goes right up to this dam... I'm guessing when the, the rivers are high, it would overflow and then flow down the field here. Okay. So nobody else has really come out to greet us. Another person that you just. But note that in real life, like the first time I played these areas, I had no idea that there were people here. And I was. It, did, it didn't work out too well for me. I guess I'll, I'll put it that way. Like, armed with foreknowledge and a good sniper rifle is a lot better than just being armed with a good sniper rifle. is another spot where let's see if we can do this. I'm not sure if the oh, it looks like it is. The, f the fence is permeable. There. Let's back off a little bit. Because I think they're probably looking for us. Maybe not. Wonderful. Only a fucking coward eyes. Okay. So we're probably getting their numbers down a little bit. Ooh, except it's that guy, he definitely saw us. We're gonna back off a little bit. See if we can come at this some other way. Okay, so 
somebody is up above. Well, not right up above, because it's nothing. would be nowhere for them to stand. Oops. Yeah, somebody is, has, has a pretty good idea where we are. If the ground near you is splintering, you know that you're probably not standing in a place that's going to be good for you very long. Okay, so they're straight ahead, more or less. McCready is shooting more or less straight up, so some of them must be up above, I'm, I'm guessing. I wonder if we can get up on top of this weird pipe conglomerate thing. Um, looks like probably not. Let's see if we can help McCready a little bit with this. Okay. That's where one of them is. Switch to... side of the fence. There's some bodies we can loot. And other things that we can loot. Oops. I think somebody is up there, yes. You're wasting my time. Come on, come on. there we go. There was somebody right by me, I think. I heard multiple impacts. Yep, yep shotgun. are still pretty okay. And that looks like an entrance to the factory. I would kind of like to get the outside of this place a little bit. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, that definitely did not work out too well for them. Them. And somewhere up there, there's our friendly raider. Not actually not that friendly, no. Make a nice mad dash for here. Hmm. And pocketed and shadowed is a nice combination for us, but for companions. Maybe not quite as necessary. Now, razor grain, if it is what I understand it to be, which is basically wheat, it's a weird thing to be carrying around because it's not directly edible. So if you're not a farmer, you probably don't have business working with it. Let's uh, slip inside here. 
and continue our invasion. <coughs> now this is a high danger place, if I remember right. I would guess that there's a pretty good chance we're not gonna be all that safe here, but uh, there is a person. Nice to be on the open road. Good neighbor was starting to wear out, it's welcome. This is hardly the open road, but sure. Oh dear. This is not good. Let's just throw in some grenades to start the party. Peekaboo! Now it's on. Safety off. Incoming! Okay. So that actually worked out okay. Surprising. Although, when all your foes are below you, and you have hand grenades, it doesn't really take all that much to... It doesn't take all that much to wipe out some people. I think this is kind of... Sometimes people joke about the phrase target-rich environments as a euphemism for being badly outnumbered. But in this case, if you have the right kinds of weapons, Pretty sure we're not alone. then being badly outnumbered is not always the worst thing in the world. So we'll be gone. Okay, now the problem is that there's a fair number of these guys who are over on this side. Let's see if we can give some of them a little gift. Down to four of those grenades. So let's change our tactic and switch to Molotovs. And this is much less of a fire and forget thing and much more of a. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Don't make me carry that worthless crap. Not quite sure. I did not spot where that is. there is what ordinarily would have been a good tactic ended up become being nice a bad to be tactic. On the open road. Good neighbor was starting to wear out its welcome. Sounds like you had a rough time of it back there. Rough? Let's put it this way. Right. Still, Diamond City's good. Caps are You're goddamn right they are. Right now. Mm -hmm. Hey. I'm feeling Ooh. eyes. Playtime's over! Okay. That is a mess. Because we started to have a heart to heart with McCready. I was just starting to have fun. Okay. Maybe. Where is. Oh. Over there! Get him! That's how we do things around here. Safety off. Huh? I think we have company. Okay, they're still down there. Slippery little! Well, that's what I call a confirmed kill. Okay. So. Let's heal back up. Hey. What do you want? Nice to be on the open road. Good neighbor was there. Right. Sounds like you had a rough. rough. Let's just get Let's through. This Basically, he's starting to enjoy Diamond being City's with us, and he decided to talk about it. This Caps is a weird time to do it. Goddamn right. Mm -hmm. Our caps really. I don't have much of it. Uh -huh. uh, I don't usually go. Sure. It's those two assholes. Uh -huh. They've been hounding me from. Uh -huh. I figured if I could get enough caps. To I wouldn't trust those. Yeah. Winlock and Barnes, they might decide okay. it. Yep. if I set up a place less. Uh -huh. Maybe you and I can, before you get that. Mm -hmm. If you need my Wow. Truth is, everyone I've met okay. you. Yep. And I have a fun right. Uh, I'll tell you what. You feel like helping me with if you don't, either way. Thank you. Okay. So he gave us a quest. 
We're gonna save because I don't want to go through that dialogue again. Getting down to four, but someone there. What? And we're gonna drop the frag mine in front of this door. Okay. Cut the shit. Come on, leave that? it. And we're gonna head down. Now this place is actually incredibly great for looting. Yes. If you need raw materials, this is a pretty good place for it. Pretty great place for it. Hey, who's there? Unfortunately, it is pretty well defended, but once you're once you have enough uh, gear decent weapons and so on to be able to take care of it, then that shouldn't be a problem that for bitch you. Go? Think you can hide? Well, I could hide if I wanted to, but it's not presently what I'm trying to do. Not yet. Back to my next stillage. Okay. So, fortunately, we have been good at pursuing our lockpicking skills, and so this isn't too much of a challenge for us. Ordinarily, if people are doing a more balanced approach to everything, then they wouldn't be able to open this. And this is often a place where people do it much earlier in the game, so they're fighting lower level Sweet. versions of everything here. Here, the longer you put off the more interesting areas, the tougher foes that you'll encounter uh, there, but at the same time you also usually get leveled rewards too. Okay, so there are some nice tunnels that run underneath this place, but we're just going to make sure that we believe that this leads to the other half of this area. So if we're very careful. Oh, and there's also an even more upper part of the uh, part of the area. That we'll we'll get to, but we're not in a huge rush. Always something you should care a lot about in uh, Fallout. Okay, so that there is, I believe, where we were uh, looking before. Let's switch to Molotovs again and save again. What the? Because. Let's see how we're doing. Looks like that might have killed that person. Yeah, so if we're very careful, we can... Now, occasionally you'll see people who do Let's Plays of Fallout 4, and they play it almost as if they were playing... Uh, hey! I think someone's out there. Almost as if they were, uh, if they were playing uh, Doom Four. It's a very different way of playing. It can work. Of course, with Doom Four, you have the added incentive of the way you get health to see cool stuff. Work. Whereas here, you just have to kind of. Manage to armor yourself up to the point where you can survive. Dead, you hear me? Ooh. Okay, that's not great. You're messing with the bed. Hey, I look like it hurt. 
Yeah, why would somebody even try? If you have a switchblade and your opponent is somebody who has nice ballistic weapons, you probably don't want to charge at them. I mean, I guess if you really have no other options and you're sure that they're going to kill you, then maybe. But in general... Well... In general, it's not going to be a winning strategy. So you're, you're just making the, the best of a bad situation if you're trying oh. that. Okay, so... That's interesting. So you can't really see what's in that pit. There's no real way to move beyond it, but... Anyhow, you would expect the gunners to have cleared out this place of, uh, of feral ghouls. But, nope. You can see some traps there. This floor is oily, so it's... So it's a little bit dangerous to, uh... To be using firearms of any sort in the area. That's anything. Always good to get these small amounts of XP from... Nice. ...picking locks. Okay. Anything there is that rad barrel there, but and again, no person, so uh, definitely a good day for looting. Telephones tend to be good for looting too because they have some, I think, copper in them. But well, copper is not super rare in the game. bit of radiation from having st stepped even that far over over that barrel down there. Oh wait, teacup. I'm a little teacup. Okay, and here is Clear the stairs back up. I don't know for sure if we've actually uh, got everybody over here. And there's that. And somewhere around here is another one of those spotlight things. I can see the, the light swinging. Uh, there it is. Or at least there's one of them. This is another area where the they've they've done a good job at. If you want to stay alive, we need to make for some cover. Did you hear that? Where they've done a good job at making a secure settlement for themselves. Uh, again, not the, a perfect job. Who's out there? Even if you don't count the fact that I'm here uh, chopping them up. as proof that they haven't done a good job because your character, frankly, is kind of a superhero in terms of in terms of how uh, how dangerous they are. Like, pretty much nobody in the world should be this dangerous. Maybe one way to kind of understand it is that your character is somebody from before the war and maybe the human species was more resilient. Yeah, they're just down, way down there. I think we're gonna 
hedge our bets a little bit and uh, heal up. Also, it's probably time to stop dancing around and head down and greet people. Oh, silver locket. Don't mind if I do. You are aiming at something distant. Okay, door thing here. How do you make it inside? Maybe in here. Anybody in here? No. Okay, so th this is their sleeping quarters. Another actually surprisingly good decision. It's protected uh, from uh, from the rest of the area. Still has reasonable uh, visibility. You could retreat back into it if you needed to. But bad if you thought that you were going to be facing Shit. a lot of people Scared with uh, grenades. But otherwise, it's a pretty solid choice. So we've actually cleared out most of uh, this area. There is our frag mine. Nobody came through that door. Oh, because it's the door to the Commonwealth. I thought it was the door to somewhere else. But not to a new map. Whereas if it's to a new map, people will rarely Stop. hear Take it. Come through it. Oh, hello. things can shoot straight up. I always thought that they couldn't. So, sweet. We've cleared the court. Uh, no, I don't. I actually don't think we have. There's another area in here that we didn't make it to that I had forgotten about. Hey. We're going to, again, transfer everything that we don't need over to McCready. What's up? And head back in and head f for the fun, goofy, dangerous part. Not that the rest of that wasn't dangerous, but this particular part <laughs> is much more stuff dangerous. Worth anything? And, and we're entering through uh, an angle that we didn't enter through before. That is the, uh, the lower door. Please don't be ferals again. Who's there? The jet will make you jittery. Duck down. Yeah, she was right. Nothing. At least it sure so I look guess it, it sounds like they are doing some ordinary guarding against somebody, and it sounds like hmm. at least sometimes that, that somebody is ferals, or feral ghouls. Ah, pipe sniper stuff. Not so useful. Yeah, but it makes sense. If you were to control a, if you were to control a bunch of raiders, then having them hole up here would probably be pretty sensible. Sometimes in life you can't hide forever. Oh, wait, was he already... Okay, looks like he somehow, maybe McCready got him. Always good to have cameras. Yeah, so, and they've done a pretty sensible job uh, at uh, what is going on here. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I guess that was 
a glitch. Going down. Yeah, they've done a pretty sensible job at managing this place. Looks like they have a mess hall, they have guards. They have a pretty decent idea of what the threats are that face them. Okay, and this is the place that I was uh, thinking of. And the fun thing about here is that the cars are explosive. But we're, we're gonna be a little bit more exciting yet than we normally are. Brunt. B-R-U-N-T. B-R-U-N-T. Not sadly. Oh, B-R-U-N-T, B-R-U-N-T, B-R-U-N-T. Okay, Scott is our, I think, our only nice. option. You know Fuchsia with a lime green interior? Yeah, they never have them in the color you want. Okay, and so... We have enlisted Protectron. has prevailed. He actually, I think, has already killed somebody for us. Yeah, this place is like super explosive, super... They're, they're being quite smart about this. They're just not quite up to uh, facing somebody as super, uh, super capable as your character, but they are, you could imagine them doing quite well in general if people were, were attempting to invade their, uh, their turf here. Some barrels beneath. It's a little bit. There's some radioactive barrels beneath. That either. I doubt that they're re they really have the, the means to move that safely. So my guess is that it is just a accidentally useful thing. Gotta take a quick nap to heal our health up. And that it means that nobody is potentially going to be sneaking under their base of operations here and uh, doing much nastiness that way. Because it would be dangerous for them to go down there. Bingo. trade with you but we are we somehow survived it I think just because we're in this little boothy area here okay we're not gonna be able to carry too much uh, more like there are some raiders over there That's one of the goofy things in this, in that y your character, even though you think 
I should be able to just crawl or hop or climb. But you categorically cannot do these things. But there are uh, things that could only be set up by people who were willing to do that. Although I guess generally doing that kind of stuff, it adds a kind of vulnerability that few people would uh, need to just be a quick way to get killed a lot of the time. Okay, Is that prote protectron. Yep, nice. The rare times you'll ever see me use a sniper rifle uh, without aiming. It's necessary, but it's a high-risk strategy because you will very, very often end up missing any time you try to do that. Okay, so that's the Corvega plant. Now we're going to travel back to Red Rocket. Ah, good. I was worried that there was some hidden enemy somewhere, and generally the game doesn't like you traveling. It doesn't like you fast traveling when you're near uh, a foe. We need to swing, uh, swing by here to drop off another large amount of stuff we have accumulated. Heads up. Yep. And after this, we are going to do McCready's first quest. For the companions, he's a bit of an oddball in that he has two quests. That he would, uh, that he asks you to do. The second one what is, is very involved. Okay, so bottle cap mines, you rarely need them, definitely don't need that or that. put some of these things on my uh, on my settlers uh, because in general you want to have a well defended settlement getting down there. Let's see. Scroll bits. Yeah. Really would like to get this down further, but we apparently we must have some uh, Ah, that's what it was. This thing. Okay. So, I think we were actually near where Mac MacReady's quest is. Well, it's very vaguely near. So we'll start at Mass Pike Tunnel West and just uh, walk due west to where MacReady's uh, personal quest is. Unfortunately, it looks like this is not always the most pleasant place to fast travel uh, towards because if the raiders have regenerated here, then you basically are, you just land in the middle of a danger zone. That did not happen this time, thankfully. You can kind of see what, uh, 
what they put beneath the um, the freeway here. The other nice thing about this is that coming at it from this angle means that I have a nice clean uh, pathway right up onto uh, right up onto the raised freeways. Pretty sure we're not alone. Very good. Okay. We're getting a little bit low on our sniper rifle ammo, so we're going to start being a little bit careful uh, with it. bridge that gap. But I think where we want to be is straight ahead, so we, we'll need to go around and down. I was hoping to be able to take the high road the whole way, but I guess not. It's worth a shot. And no, in, in case you're asking, it's not that any of the any of the major landscape decisions of the game are randomly generated, although that would be very cool. It's rather just that I've forgotten. Oh, some combat stuff going on there. And generally the blue lasers mean that they're synths. So that is probably a synth versus... Yeah, those are definitely synths. Synths versus raiders. So we're just going to let that fight go on. Maybe maneuver ourselves into a good position. And maybe check out this body over here. Not sure. They might be done fighting. Or maybe not. Okay. This is another scavenger that had a bad day. Looks like there's another body over there. You hear that? Scavenger had a bad encounter. Actually, it looks like a whole bunch of them. They were killed by uh, by synths, and they had a pretty nice weapon too. So we'll briefly use their their pad. It'd be weird. I guess they they must be willing to drag uh, pads along, uh, pads out into the wilderness, because otherwise it would just be bizarre for. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, a mattress. It'd be bizarre for a mattress to just happen to be out here. Okay, I have to actually get up. Our sniper rifle back out. See if we can figure out where... Where was the battle? Maybe here? This makes me a little nervous. Come on, just leave it. Yeah, I'm still still don't know what they were shooting at then. And I might not have moved in the right direction to approach it. Actually, maybe it's somebody over here. Oh yes, we don't really want to face them. 
If, it, that's kind of funny, the synths fighting wild animals. I mean, it's entirely imaginable. It's just uh, something about the matchup. Oh. Uh, hi? Buzz, don't get much cleaner than that. I can see myself in that shine. <coughs> ah, a new customer. Welcome to Max Bar. We are currently open for business. Please excuse the mess. Dude, nice location. Thank you kindly. Picked the place myself. Plenty of room for expansion in an up and... Anyway, what'll it be? Sure. Let's take a look. I've got just the thing for you. So this is a weirdo. Uh, I'm not actually... It's maybe just better to understand this as being like a, a fake in-game event. All right, uh, Linlock and Barn should be here. Just a little bit of comedy. Down. And that it's just, it. there's no way that you would really, you really could expect anybody in that situation, like just popping into the middle of nowhere, setting up a bar. Unless he were, maybe it accidentally makes more sense here because the raiders are here, and maybe the raiders want to buy alcohol, and they are possibly perfectly content to do it from some non-threatening guy. Anyhow. Let's see if we can score a nice kill. Okay, and there is another oh, lots of gunners. I'm feeling eyes on my back. That was not quite a clean kill. It hit their head and damaged their head, Great. but they're still alive. So, and they know what direction the attack came from. So we need to be careful. But we're hidden again. So... Let's Safety off. I think we have company. Okay, we're not quite dead. And by now they probably have a really good idea where we are. So let's see if we can hey, shift that around there. a little bit. No, McCready, don't call out to them. Change and we're close enough now to have the map marker, which is cool. Looks like they probably send people down here to uh, maybe permanently to just be guards, maybe for lower ranking or newbies or something like that. Enemy presence still detected. Some quite incredible armor here. Nice. So this is just a raised defense stand. Huh, looks like they are shooting at somebody else who's not me right now. Quite sure who it is. Let's see if I can make use of their aiming at somebody else. Hoping to get a good shot in. Oh, 
Did one of them fall down? Did one of them fall down? fan of the harnesses. They're nice stat-wise. McCready. You know, help me check it off. The hell are they? Okay, so we actually are gonna wanna head up there. What a letdown. Right, remember somewhere around here they, they have weird pulley based elevators. This is one of them. And heading up there is definitely a power move. So let's leave some of this stuff here. Go pay them a visit. Okay, so our shotgun is ready. Our handgun is ready. Probably not going to use our sniper rifle, but it is ready. In fact, I'm going to use a bit of a trick and send McCready up there first. Nope, 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 nope. Come here. Come on, dude. Dude. Dude, come on. is definitively in that thing. We will push the button and send him up. You go up there and have some fun, dude. Okay. He stepped off the elevator, so I will call it back. Uh, looks like he's being a complete idiot and buying a lot of fire. But now we'll save and I will head up there and join him. Yourself 
myself to get hit by the laser of that thing. So I'm... Oh, I don't yet have the ability to control it. So I, did, I just popped up and shut it down. Which is probably the right thing, but it's not as much the right thing as if you can get control of them, you can have them go and do a lot of your fighting for you. That's, I think, another option. So. This is, again, a dangerous thing. worked out okay so far. Okay, so this has actually gone... I would say that this is mediocre. We used a lot of resources, but we did... we managed to survive. We accomplished our goals. Definitely could have gone better, but it didn't go terribly. And when McCready catches up to us, we did. We are going to walk away from this with a nice haul. Oh, there he is. He's just hanging out. Heads up. Need something? Oh, you shouldn't have. We give him all of our junk, which actually isn't enough to get. I think just a lot of this is combat armor tends to be pretty heavy. Even though it's pretty uh, amazing stuff, it's it's just not stuff that you can... Uh, you can't just scoop, scoop it up and forget about it. Look alive. What? Well, this should send a message to the gunners to stay off my back. I'm sure they hurt. Definitely. The gunners, it's always about the... Besides, anyway... Yeah, so that, that's a, a contradiction now. in terms. Send them After a message, all, but not. Hired me, but I'm the one that dragged uh, you out here. But also it being anonymous. Well, I wasn't about. <laughs> but tell you what, I'll still stick with you. There you go. And I guess we're done. Okay, so that's it. That's McCready's first quest.
guess the other thing is the notion of just having lost the gunners this the space doesn't really make sense because it's not like there's somebody else going to take it. What it did is it depopulated the space. Ooh, two bottle that mines, that's nice. Like if they were to send new people, they would have their space back right away. And it still has all their fortifications and stuff here. Still, uh, it certainly damaged their houses. Now, in terms of a settlement, this place, uh, I would give it a good rating. And the only reason I give it a good rating and not a great rating is that it just falls a little bit short of some super obvious th things that would, would be improvements. Like, for example, if they configure the elevators to not allow uh, people from the lower floor to, to summon them, and had it had like a stricter security protocol where <coughs> someone from upper would need to press the button to allow, uh, to allow it to come up, that would make things a lot more secure. At the cost, perhaps, of making it a little bit too easy to lose the place if nobody can get up there anymore. And that's a trade-off, and I guess... But if they knew that they were aiming to protect against a certain event, uh, invaders or something like that, then it would totally make sense. T-60 power armor. Without the frame. Look alive. What do you want? See if he had anything worth taking. Easy. Okay. We'll see if. Grab anything useful. All right. See if we can get McCready Check to it out. take all sure, of its no power armor there. Do it. See if there's anything there. Take anything good. I'll take care of it. Grab that. Yep, you got it. Get that. All right. Okay. So windlock is empty. Gunner's conscript just had some ammo. Now, there was another uh, unique opponent called Barnes. But unfortunately, I think we killed Barnes from a ways b uh, below, and so we don't have... I think we basically just we lost track of the body. Which is a pity, because I think both of them had some nice loot. But still. Uh, this is another elevator thing. It is possible somehow to get up onto the upper floor, but I don't quite remember how to do it. And it's not that important. So, let's take the level up. Can't do gun nut level 3 yet. Scrapper, scrapper level 2 makes sense. And now we are going to pop back up to... Red Rocket. I should note that we left strong at Red Rocket at the last of our let uh, last of our let's plays, but since then I sent him onwards to uh, Abernathy Farms because if you do certain things with companions in the, uh, while you have companions, then uh, and and they see it, then even if they're not in your companionship, it's going to adjust what they think of you. And I think one of those might be doing any significant work on on the settlement that you're uh, you're working on and I generally like to do a little bit of tuning up uh, both of my gear and my settlement uh, in between uh, my videos and I didn't want to lose uh, lose affinity with him before I even started traveling with him so the easiest way to deal with that was to send him off
Okay, so that greatly reduced our weight. We're going to briefly just check to see, now that we're this far in, into the game, to see if there's any random encounter that we need to worry about from over here. Because trouble always seems to come from over this bridge. But apparently not today. Things are nice and quiet. So, now that we've checked our trouble ridge, then we're going to sign off, and I will see you in the next play, uh, next Let's Play, which I'm guessing will probably be in about a week. Might be sooner, might not be. Need some? But just the, the soonest I know for sure that I'm going to have time will be in about a week. So until then, uh, you find any spare parts? this has been uh, my now. Let's Play of Fallout 4, and I will see you when I next do. Bye.